Hey YouTube, and welcome back to the next part of the Corvette build. Um, really today all I'm just going to do is run through quickly what I've done uh, in your absence. I've done a few little extra bits. Um, I've changed my mind on something and um, we'll just make some of the um, deck furniture, uh, like the ammo storage lockers and bits and pieces. So what I've changed my mind on is um, the portholes for the hull of the ship. Um, and what I've done is I've put the clear plastic pieces in situ and then I'm going to glue the deck on top um, and then I'm just going to paint the hull. Uh, and then the portholes I will just mark out with a gloss black paint. Because um, you're not going to see into them anyway and I'm more than happy to uh, do that um, in that way. So that's what I'm going to do with the, the porthole and as such I have glued some of the deck in place. Uh, so I've done all the portholes and I've glued some of the deck in place. Um, so I've, I've glued the um, bow plate in place and uh, as you can see some of the furniture's on. Now, um, in my last video I said something about the bandstand um, being a bit awkward to fit and what I realised was that it actually only goes in one way. So this side is longer than the back of it. Um, so once you orientate it correctly, it will go in place without any issues. And then obviously subsequently, you can put the bandstand on top without any issues. Um, you just need to make sure that um, you locate it correctly and then it will just slot in place. So you can put a dab of glue on there and then glue it in place. I'm not gonna glue it in place uh, before I've painted the, the deck and the hull. Um, I'm still waiting for my plastic car to come through so that I can complete the interior of the wheelhouse. However, what I have done is because the uh, rear section is gonna be something like a radio room, I've glued in place the two transparent or the, the four transparent um, windows. Uh, the reason being is that um, when I come to paint this, after I've put the, the, the interior of the wheelhouse in that I want um, and I come to paint it, um, Obviously, these windows will be blacked out because in wartime, um, the radio room is, is going to be lit because the operator needs to be able to see what he's doing. So in wartime, you can't have that, those lights blaring out um, for them to be seen in the distance by a potential U-boat. Um, I've done part of the mast, put the crow's nest on um, and the, the ladder. Uh, as well as the speech tube that goes up the side. And um, I've just got another piece to put on the top uh, to do. And then I've done um, some of the ventilation uh, pipes, um, ventilation funnels. Uh, and this is the um, funnel deck housing, basically. And um, what I'm gonna do is when I'm ready to uh, spray this up, um, I'll have uh, all the deck furniture in place along with the funnel um, ready to paint up. Um, and, uh, and then once I've done that, it will be glued in place. Now, the midsection deck here, I haven't glued in place, but as well as the bow, I have glued in place the stern part of the decking um, and I've basically had to do glue these in place uh, in sections so I started at the rear let me remove the death charge racks um, I, I started at the rear and glued that in place and then worked my way forward a piece at a time gluing it down and then holding it so that it um, set in place. So that's how I've done uh, the 
uh, the decking on the ship at the moment. Just pop that aside. Um, and I have done the depth charge racks. Now these two depth charge racks are common to all three ships that were in the original Max Bo Matchbox kit. Um, and then these two are for HMS Bluebell. And again, I still haven't decided which way I'm gonna go. Um, so by all means, leave a comment saying which build you'd like to see me do. So all we're gonna do is some of the um, ammo boxes um, and depth furniture that uh, and part of the um, items that go onto the bridge. Um, so I'm actually going to start with what is the sonar housing. Now, when the plastic card comes through, I will be cutting a piece of plastic card to seal the window here. Um, and then I will be looking at uh, putting a door in place as well. Um, so, now this, this item here, which is going on the front of the, um, ASDIC sonar housing doesn't actually have any locating lugs so you do have to play it by ear and I, I think in reality I will need to perhaps do a little bit of filling for this but once that's done once that's built it would then go in place this is the bridge platform and it would go in place there And again, we have the compass and um, some other bridge furniture here, which I am just gonna glue. And then I will actually paint these separate to um, positioning them after they've been painted. Just basically so that there's nice crisp lines um, in demarcation between, um, for example, the deck and the column that these items sit on. those two bits um, this is a um, door which is on the top of the engineering uh, deck above the boiler room basically or the engine room and what I'm actually going to do is when I get my plastic card come through I am because this is a um, it was pointed out in a video that whilst there's doors on this, there would also actually be a uh, like, kind of like a roller shutter. So in the closed position, it would be up here. But obviously, this is quite short for people to be getting in and out of. So it would roll back slightly to allow um, people to come up and down the stairs. There is a lot of um, box furniture uh, with regards to um, ammo lockers, kit lockers, etc. Uh, on this boat, um, especially uh, a significantly large amount um, on the forward deck near the um, uh, Hedgehog anti-submarine mortar 
and the main uh, four inch deck gun. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to build these up and then just pop them to one side. I will probably pop them um, into uh, labelled bags because there are so many of these lockers etc that um, if you don't label what you've got uh, and the stage that they were built at you're going to lose track. Um, one item that I am going to install next to the wheelhouse uh, because it goes in a gap on the side what I, I'm going to describe as the side palisade is this locker here um, and this just goes along the edge of the wheelhouse walkway now I need to orientate this the right way so that's the right way up and then top goes on I may need to trim that a little before I put it in place just add in a little bit of extra glue Oops. But this would go um, looking at the orientation and the instructions. This would go just there, basically, next to the wheelhouse. It looks like I'm just going to have to do a little bit of filing to make sure it fits snugly in position. But that's where that would go. And I, I'm quite happy to glue that in place once I've trimmed it down, uh, ready to fit. Um, I've been looking up uh, a lot of photographs for uh, example, the deck gun and the Oilerkin uh, anti-aircraft cannons um, and the pom-pom. Um, and I'm happy to um, actually make the um, etched brass uh, and turned metal gun assemblies if I can get hold of them um, as the detail kit and then use um, parts from the plastic kit. Uh, for example, the four inch gun housing I will use the plastic kit parts um, for it uh, rather than the um, etched brass. But I will try and uh, just detail up the plastic kit slightly. Um, there are a couple of things which um, I could do, uh, for example, um, Placing the um, yeah, so for example, placing the um, front vision slits uh, on the gun housing. Um, in an open position and if I can cut those um, trim those out with a scalpel uh, I should then be able to use plastic card to uh, make them appear uh, in the um, open position um, basically they they hinge I think they hinge downwards from um, uh, the closed position um, there is an awful lot of uh, extra detail on the 
uh, depth charge uh, throwers uh, on the side of the ship. There are six and I've been looking at videos that people have posted up where they've done tours of HMCS Sackville, which is moored in Halifax, I think it is, in Canada. Um, it's the Canadian Navy's uh, museum ship for that class. Um, and it's it's been invaluable looking at those videos they've been um, really helpful in a lot of uh, references uh, there, there's another discrepancy on the kit which i will look to change with plasticard and that is where the lower rear deck comes forward uh, towards the funnel um, and disappears under the uh, front deck or the mid deck. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Um, the bulkheads that the kit provides there are actually incorrect. Um, they've got the doors. Um, so if, say for example, uh, you look down the ship and you see the bulkhead like that, they've got the door this side on the outside uh, towards the edge of the ship where it should be on the inside um, towards the um, bulkhead of the uh, boiler room uh, engine room housing so again that will be something that I change um, hopefully for the better um, I've ordered uh, this plastic card, as I say, I'm just waiting for that to arrive. And all being well, that should, um, I've only ordered a, a 0.25 mil in the plastic card, which I'm hoping isn't gonna to be too flimsy in making that um, new bulkhead. The other thing that I, again, with the um, flower class Corvette is the change in the um, radar housing. So the radar housing sits on the bridge, uh, at the rear of the bridge, like this, and then the platform. And again, I've ordered some uh, 0.25 mil drill bits so that I can do the pier steel plating on the radar housing there. So for Bluebell, it would be a round radar housing, uh, which would sit on like so. And for Saucy and Snowberry, it's this octagonal one which would then sit on like so. So again, depending on the ship, will depend on which item it is that um, gets installed. Um, so I'm just gonna install some of the uh, furniture here on the funnel housing. Um, but I'm lucky that there are people out there that have done builds before, um, including the super detailing with the photo edge parts. So I can actually see um, how those parts will go together. Um, and I'm actually quite happy to um, use some of the photo etch parts um, to up detail this kit. Uh, 
um, but then leave other parts uh, off. Okay, so um, some of the other bits and pieces that um, I'll certainly be doing a bit later on um, will be super detailing the depth charges, um, which is something I do want to do. I don't want to just leave them in the shape that they are. They, they're, they're very basic. Um, and it, it just does not do the kit any justice. Um, for a kit that was supposedly manufactured in um, 1979, I'm actually very disappointed that Matchbox didn't um, provide better detail on some of these gun kits. Um, an example being the, the 20 millimeter cannon, the oil can cannon. When you look at say, for example, the um, Airfix e-boat um, torpedo boats that uh, they did, the, the gun that they have on there, um, the 20 millimeter cannon that they've got on there is, is although it's not perfect, it's, infinitely much better than the simplified models that have been produced for um, this kit so like most so like I say mostly my detailing will be um, for the um, armaments more than anything else but that's all I'm going to do for today uh, I'm going to um, pop all this aside and come back to it a bit, a bit, a bit of a later stage just to um, fill any gaps in this uh, in these um, uh, cabinets that I've made um, and trim and file off some bits and pieces so hope you're all well and if you've enjoyed this please like and subscribe and share all right thanks very much bye bye